Hey, it's Elliot here. You've probably been wondering if those services and software promising to bypass the iPhone lock to owner message are the real deal, right? Well, let's get into that. While some of these methods might seem tempting, they're not always the safest or the most reliable, but don't worry, I've got your back. In this video, we're going to explore multiple totally legal ways to remove that annoying iCloud activation lock from your iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. The best part, these methods are not only safer, but also free, quick, and pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you're looking for a hassle-free solution, stick around and let's get your device unlocked. Quick heads up before we continue, I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. When it comes to removing the iPhone lock to owner message, there are several services out there, but not all are created equal. I wanna share some that have stood out for their reliability and user friendliness. And these include Unlock, here's AI powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. A friend once struggled with an iCloud locked iPhone they bought secondhand. After a lot of research and trial, they found success with these services. Unlock here, for example, uses AI to simplify the unlocking process, making it a breeze even for those not tech savvy. Then there's Safe Unlocks, known for its quick and efficient service. Locked to Owner and iUnlock app are also worth mentioning. They are straightforward and have a track record of successfully unlocking devices. While it's essential to be cautious and ensure you're using these services for legitimate purposes, they do offer a safer and more reliable alternative to random software downloads. Up next, we're going to take a closer look at how to use Unlock. Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, so stay tuned for that. It's important to note that the Unlock services we're discussing primarily work in first world countries. If you're in a region where these services aren't accessible or if you prefer not to use them, there's an alternative for you. Every week we offer 250 unlocks to our viewers. To be eligible, here's what you need to do. Just hit the like button below this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future opportunities and updates. In the comments section, mention the model of your device like iPhone 8, your IMI number, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw for a chance to get your device unlocked. It's a simple way to potentially resolve your issue, so make sure to follow each step carefully. To unlock your device using unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, start by opening your browser on your phone or computer. Go to unlockhere.com. Once there, Nifty, the AI bot, will assist you. Click on Activation Lock to inform Nifty that you need an iCloud unlock. Then choose the type of device you're unlocking an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Next, enter the IMI or serial number of your device. For iPhones, you'll use the IMI. iPads and Apple Watches may also have an IMI if they come with a SIM card slot or cellular capability. However, most will just have a serial number. To find this number, press the sleep button on your device. Then press it again and tap the eye icon at the bottom right to see your device's information. After that, you need to enter the IMAI or serial number here. You will then need to provide some basic personal information. This is important for attaching the order to your account and ensuring you receive your order confirmation. An email will be sent to you with a confirmation code. After entering your details, agree to the terms and confirm that the device you're unlocking is not stolen. Before you proceed, don't forget to click, I'm not a robot and complete a quick CAPTCHA. Afterward, click Start Process. And just like that, you're well on your way. You should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after. Check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on Unlock here, and shortly after, complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then, simply tap the button to validate the information, and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. 
and here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. To remove the iCloud lock, one effective method is by contacting Apple support with the original invoice of your device. The original invoice is a crucial document as it proves your ownership. Start by visiting the Apple support website and choose a way to get in touch through a phone call, chat, or email. Once connected, explain that you need help removing the iCloud lock from your device. Be prepared to provide details from your invoice, like the purchase date store or online retailer where you bought the device. Apple support may ask for additional information to verify your ownership before proceeding with the unlock. Another option is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. This method is useful if you know the Apple ID but have forgotten the password or if the device is still linked to the previous owner's Apple ID. To reset, visit the Apple ID webpage and click on Forgot Apple ID or Password. Follow the prompts, which will involve entering the email address linked to the Apple ID. You'll then either answer security questions or receive a verification code on a trusted device. After verifying your identity, you can reset the password and use the new credentials to unlock your device. Remember, this method only works if you have legitimate access to the Apple ID associated with the device. iCloud Unlock software can be a useful tool for solving the problem of a locked device, but it's important to note that this method typically requires a Windows computer, making it less accessible for some users. To use this method, you first need to find a reliable iCloud Unlock software. There are many options available online, but it's crucial to be careful as many of these might not work effectively. A key concern when using any software downloaded from the internet is the risk of malware. Malware can harm your computer, compromise your personal information, and cause a host of other problems. To minimize these risks, you might consider using an online service like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. These services don't require you to download any software as they operate through a web interface. This significantly reduces the risk of downloading malware. Additionally, these online services are generally more user-friendly and can be accessed from any device with an internet connection, not just Windows computers. If the seller of your iPhone is cooperative, there's a straightforward way they can help remove the iCloud lock from the device. This method works well when you have a responsive seller who's willing to assist in detaching their iCloud account from your newly acquired iPhone. Here's what the seller needs to do. The seller should visit iCloud.com and sign in using their iCloud credentials. These are the same details they used when setting up their account initially linked to your iPhone. On iCloud.com, you need to click on Find iPhone. This feature allows them to view all devices connected to their iCloud account. From there, they should locate and select your iPhone, the one that's currently locked to their account. The next step involves selecting your iPhone and clicking on Erase. This action will reset the device, removing all the previous owner's data and settings. Finally, to ensure the iPhone is completely detached from their iCloud account, the seller should click on Remove from Account after erasing the device. By following these steps, the previous owner will successfully unlink the iPhone from their iCloud account, paving the way for you to set it up as yours. Thanks for sticking with us during this tutorial. We trust that it has effectively delivered the answers you were looking for.